Hi everyone, today I will be working with one of the characters of Turbo Rocket Games and would like to share with you the way I make transition between different images. Um, here particularly we will be working with mouth and the arm. I think it's a tutorial for beginners. So I hope you enjoyed. Firstly, let me uh, show you the, how I laid out the workspace. I made it uh, in tabs so you can find whatever view you want here and especially you may look here in animation mode since they are different they save different configuration for animation and setup mode differently so for example if I move it here it won't be affected in setup mode okay so importantly it's outline view that helps me a lot when I want to make modification on weights I get uh, very poor visibility of the actual image so I can zoom in and see sometimes I also maybe want to see the smaller version of my character to see how it moves and whatever so and lastly here you can find the top bar which you can align left, right and center in settings view here, toolbar position I keep it left since I don't use this space ok, so let's, let's see what we have we will be transitioning this arm from this state to this state and this mouth from this normal smile I don't know if it's smile or no to this set state of mouth. So let's let's begin. Uh, let's uh, actually let's see that at 60 frame we have the extreme pose where the, where the arm should be like this. Let's key it, translate and rotation, and uh, also key the or base arm at zero point at its original position. So what we want to do next is uh, rotate this bone and match it, its silhouette with the second arm, uh, just as simple. Okay, and uh, move the second hand to the position where the first arm is actually located, original position of the first arm. Okay, so now we have doubled arm that moves as, as we expect actually. It, it, let's just fix it and make actual transition. So for that we will be needing to hide the second arm in the zero frame. Let's totally hide it and let's make it fully visible in 60 frame. Okay, and let's select the first arm and make it 100% visible in zero frame and zero visibility here. Okay, so now we have the same double arm but making transitions during the whole 60 frames, which we definitely don't need. Okay, let's give a transition 5 frames. Let's make each arm make it transition in 5 frames. Let's pick up the range in middle like 25, 30 and 35. Okay. So the first the second arm should be visible should start start fading in 25 and up until to 30 frame it should be fully visible. So we make it visible fully only after that we need to hide the first arm. Okay, so we fade in the second arm here. Okay, it's already fully visible and only after that we start to fading out the first arm. Okay, let's give it another five frame. Okay, so this here it has full opacity and here it has zero. Okay, so we concentrated that fade in, fade out part. Um, I will be copying this at 
uh, frame too, so we keep it hidden here too. Okay, so we actually, what we did, I'm going to enable filters so we see clearly. Uh, so what we did here actually is to concentrate the fading part in 10 frames so we are having our arm second arm show up here and uh, first arm hide so this way we just make it concentrated okay so I think we are all almost done the next thing uh, you may want to play with is the meshes okay so let's see at 25 frame our first arm uh, should have position should have its uh, mesh deformation keys this one let's key it and disable the filters filters yeah right okay and at 30 frame we need to match the silhouette with the second arm so let's enable soft selection in mesh tools I love this tool and um, make it work okay so you can select uh, multiple meshes and make uh, manipulation to them you may see that it, it behaves weirdly make sure you are on world mode here and in, in axis so this way they act in a world frame of reference okay and we have the silhouette we say we need to do for the second arm let's select them select it okay here when it starts to get visible we need to hit keys and another set of keys for mesh here so we need to make sure that we key the last frame before we make any modifications so we don't lose the original state of the arm so we mesh uh, we work with actually we deform the first frames here slowly so you see now at 30 frame it should open fully at its original deformation and you already can see the smaller version and see if you like the result or no maybe you want to make any improvements or what so okay let's next move to the mouth it's pretty similar without uh, fade in fade out at 10 frame it starts to become set at 20 frame it's already set and here we need to change actually the state to set this set mouth actually will be at its original state at, at 25 frames so we show it here but we need to key its mesh it's uh, the state of its mesh at 25 frames so we will be deforming here in 17 okay but before deforming it let's prepare the first uh, smile state so it starts to deform here let's key and let's add another key of mesh here let's move this slot key so we can add an actual key otherwise it, it, it won't let us so okay so we have uh, two keys for smile the first one is the original one we, we don't need to touch it we shouldn't actually and we need to make it straight or set in this 17 so let's move these frames we don't need them here let's make it uh, look sad again I'm using my favorite tool And 
again we are looking in a smaller version to see we can increase to see how we like it and in animation mode maybe we can shorten them out a little bit bring it down so when we have this set mode we bring those frames for the open set back so to start actually modifying this mesh we need it uh, again to match the silhouettes of this state and this state so we are working with this mode and so let's make it similar to this state Okay, we are having some bigger lips here and also here I believe let's see yes okay let's make the here thing and I think close the lip yeah. don't bother bother about these small artifacts mostly they won't be visible okay so we have our deformed set lips this will be now opened into their original state and we will have nice transitions okay I think we are done here I will place it only so you can see the transition happens It's not perfect, of course, but you 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 can split these fingers and make her much much better. For example, you can split this thumb and make it actually travel this way and make it totally looking like three D. Okay, so that's it, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's see another time this mouth. Okay, that's it. If you have questions, uh, let me know, guys. Uh, and if you have any ideas about what can I explain, or let me know. See you next time. Bye.